this wipe, I wanted to claim an iceberg for my unique solo base, but I didn't just pick any iceberg, I picked the worst one imaginable. I was on a 600 pop main server and access to any monument was gated by massive clans. And it just so happens that one of these clans was none other than the villains from my last video who foundation wiped me with over 200 rockets. I had revenge on my mind, but before enacting any grand plan, I needed to find an iceberg. Hello, hello, we are back, and I am on AU Rustified Main. Uh, I'm doing a rare back-to-back -back wipe. I was on medium last wipe, and I'm following the clans. They go long, medium, main. So we're here with them all, and I haven't actually built a base on an iceberg before, so that is the plan. In all of my years of rust, never once on an iceberg. Um, the problem is, they're all in really bad spots, but you know me, I'm one for suffering, so let's try and get one of these icebergs before it's too late. This may take a few starts because this area, this four squares, just has everything in it. All rig, mill tons, arctic, ice lakes. Every single person on this server is pretty much going to be in these four squares. So we're going to have to run past clans, all that to get there. But as long as I keep getting bags down, we should be okay. Fucking Legolas, he's predicting my dodges. <laughs> The circle of life. It's okay though, I have my bag and I expected this. We'll uh, just keep pushing forward. Oh, someone at that recycler. Like normally I would go to outpost, get like a rev or a crossbow or something like that, then head inland, but these icebergs are in such a good spot for clans. Not so much solos, but for clans. It's like prime real estate and I feel like they're all just gonna rush them, so I need to beat them there and at least get a tool cupboard down. Now's my chance, I can actually plug my channel. <laughs> if you like solo content, please subscribe, it helps out a lot. But for now, we actually should recycle. Freaking run! <laughs> Can't even beat a tree. Yes, one step closer. I'm gonna die to the coal, but we'll just put a stash here in the morning and resume the quest for the tool cupboard. I got like a bit of a rough layout in my head about how this iceberg will look. I'm pretty much going to do like the core of my old main base design up the back. Some walls will have a farm, some cool turret pods, SAM sites, all that stuff. There's all rig out the back, so there's going to be a lot of helis flying to that. We might be able to shoot some down, but for now, just going to get that tool cover down so we at least own this iceberg. Nice. Because this is going to be main TC, I'm going to have to put a door on it, no window, but it should be fine for a little bit. With the iceberg secure for now, I needed more farm. The downside to this location was that all the monuments around me were under control by big clans. I needed a rat shack next to one of them to try and scavenge what I could to at least upgrade this base further. I headed over to harbour to get cloth, metal frags, all that sort of stuff and to see who was going to claim the big ice lake as they were probably going to be my biggest threat. I've spawned at my uh, harbour bag. We don't have anything here yet. I'm pretty much just going to make a spear and send it. But the plan is to get like a one by one, maybe just on those rocks we ran past or behind it. And that's where we'll get our cloth and everything we need for these doors. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that's big, that's big. I'm going all in. I'm feeling dangerous. I've got a spear. Oh, he's done it. Oh, the wood. That's, that's my one by one right there. <laughs> I've come out of the womb with a spear in my hand, ready. <laughs> Where'd he come from? Oh, he's got a backpack. This is massive. I actually think... I don't think we're going to set the one by one up just yet. We're going to run back to the iceberg. I've got everything I need to fortify that core so no one can, like, molly raid or anything. I think that is the priority right now. I am risking too much to try and run past that supermarket, so I'm just going straight out in the ocean, even if it takes me 10 minutes. actually somewhat going to plan for a change which never happens to me <laughs> I was actually off to a better start than I expected I deviated my plan a little as I'd already secured what I wanted from that one by one I had read in the chat that a massive clan was building on the ice lake right next to me I didn't want to be their first easy target I wanted this base to be a little bit stronger than just two doors I pivoted my strategy to farming up this coastline while I could before any of the big clans were out roaming and this strategy Pays off big time. Do you see that death laid out in the distance below the mountain? It's kind of like a no man's land between me and all the big groups. There isn't really any bases in there yet. I don't know why you'd build there anyway, but I reckon I can farm that in relative peace for now. Maybe in a few days, no, but I think we need to get on that and fortify this base quickly. This might be a little harder than I thought. <laughs> bit scuffed but it's just gonna have to do them essentially just gonna fill this up with farm and then run it back in the dark and hope that it does not get raided in this day cycle Actually massive, we can get furnaces now. This is actually really good. This has gone better than I thought. If we can get this back to base at night, we are set. Oh, the jig's up. gonna play this one safe, wait for dark, and then we'll run all that loot back. This is such a good start, like this normally doesn't happen to me, it's normally pain and suffering, but... 
I'm sure that's not too far away. Oh my god. <laughs> they have to be my ice lake neighbours. That's concerning. The start of my wipe was going quite well, but I made an alarming discovery. My ice lake neighbour was out and about raiding all the small bases along the coastline. The decision to fortify my base early on could not have come at a better time. For now, I think I was going to be escaping their wrath. I still had no proxy base next to a monument though, and I needed a lot of comps and materials for this base. I went back to harbour to set up that one by one, and I ran into a few familiar faces along the way. Do it. Facing Take death. Up, bro, behind you. I don't. All right. That is FTA. That's concerning. They were in my last video. They're like a 10 to 15 deep clan, and they live on this ice lake. There's a second one with a similar size clan on it. So we have like two 15 deep clans, pretty much surrounding the iceberg. Um, I'm gonna go do something stupid and stick my one by one right next to these guys because I reckon I can slip in and out of harbor when they're not there and use them as protection. Um, it's a plan that will either fail spectacularly or work really, really well. Let the ratting begin. This harbour is like the lifeline for the area. The other supermarket already has a clan tower next to it and you can like snorkel in and out, bring a boat here. This is pretty much where everyone's going to get their like early game farm. Everything's useful at this point. The short term plan for this is to just stay here until I get a tier 2 for garage doors or to when the point FTA's tower can just see everything. <laughs> it's a race, we'll see what happens first. Mate, you've killed me four times. <laughs> Sucks to suck. I've just realized something. Look how close that cargo ship gets to my iceberg. I reckon I can parachute off my base on the iceberg onto cargo ship. We have to try that at some point in this one. It's starting to get a bit hectic around here. They're taking heli, like I'm not too far from my tier two. Once we get that, we can kind of just leave because I doubt my one by one lasts a whole lot longer. Nice. I reckon if these guys have just a little bit on them, we have the tier 2 and we could be done with this area and that stupid tower. <laughs> I did one last run to secure my tier 2 just before FTA managed to get their shooting floor up. I'd also acquired a diving kit. I waited for dark and dove all of my loot back to my main iceberg base. I now had a tier 2 and things were looking good. I quickly took over a base right next to my iceberg, then started to look at upgrading my main base. 
school was finishing, work was finishing, people were getting home for wipe day, and this area starts to turn to chaos. My base, in its current form, was not going to last long if I didn't do something about it. The way this is kind of working in my head is that I do the core at the rear end of the iceberg, then I build out to another fortification with a pixel gap bunker to hide all my loot, then I do another fortification which is the main entrance, and then I double wall the rear, chuck some sand sites up, and this thing will actually be quite strong, it would be very difficult to raid, especially if I'm online. You know, I don't really like do roleplay stuff, but I'm kind of going to break a little rule here. Have like a little Wilgium inspired cliff balcony so I can shoot rockets at clan helicopters. <laughs> and also, maybe rocking chair. It's starting to look alright. Oh, the uh, I guess it's the clans are out in the rooms. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be living over there, I can tell you that now. It's starting to kind of come together, you can see what I'm going for here. It'll probably make a bit more sense as it gets more fortified, but I'm out of resources for now, so we need more. And I also want to know, like, what these clans are up to, who's who and where, and threats and enemies and all that. I've kind of just confined myself to my iceberg, so I'm going to go make some guns and stick them in my base across the water. I'm going to go get a bit more farm and just explore the snow and see who's probably going to raid me. <laughs> Is that a jackhammer? Oh, that is a white changing item for out here. Like, I couldn't have got anything better off this guy. This is like massive. This little deflate's kind of like a safe spot. And if I play it smart at night, I can just do runs up and down with a jackhammer. Like, this is a wipe changer. Like, this base will be done way quicker than I thought. I had secured a wipe changing item, the jackhammer. I was not going to include this next clip, it's just a guy with a Tommy I'm talking to who kills another random guy, but it's the name of the guy he kills that's important. This name is a part of the group who I've had dealings with over the last few months. They foundation wiped me and raided me twice last video with using over 250 rockets on me. The problem with these guys is that they don't play by the rules, they are pure rust sweats through and through. I vowed three months ago to get some sort of revenge against them, but I don't come across them that often. The problem is, they very rarely make mistakes. I spent some time trying to find out where they live, but I couldn't find their base. But oh my god, do we have a run-in for the ages later on in this wipe, and it is something you do not want to miss. For now, my goal was still to upgrade my base, but a lot of weird stuff starts happening around this area. Tell me you're scouting me without telling me you're scouting me. <laughs> what is that? That's like, just like flew straight over and turned around to have a look at the base. We need to like fortify this base up a lot more. Like clans, they leave traces of their intentions. That one's not so little, but you don't have a helicopter fly around your base multiple times scouting it out and not expect to have someone on your doorstep with rockets later in the day. So we're gonna have to go down labs, get cameras, laptops, gears, all that sort of stuff. Like this is the primary objective. Get this base stronger.
Everyone's just the best on this server, they just like never miss. Ooh, they are actually getting fobbed on. This is good. This is my time. I'm going down labs while everyone's preoccupied over there. It's like 600 pop at the moment. Labs will just instant respawn and that'll be all I need for turrets. Well, the good thing about being out here is labs is just there. There's another iceberg around the corner. I'm probably gonna have to contest them for labs, but with the respawn rates, if I just get in there once or twice and get the three or four cameras I need and laptops, I think I'll be fine, because I am going to need some auto turrets. I've actually made a big mistake. I forgot how cold it gets in the water if you don't have a wetsuit. Um, it's too late to turn back now. We're going all in. <laughs> that was pretty close. Like, I, I am my own worst enemy. I put myself into these situations far too often, but then I just clutch it up, you know? What can I say? Well, I was hoping for more cameras and laptops. We got one. That's a start. I'm probably going to spend way more time down here than I actually put on camera because it's really going to be the only way I get my turrets. Servers literally crashed. Just my luck. <laughs> this server's actually the highest pop I've seen it in a long time. I had like 690 players on it before the crash, which is like unheard of in Australia, but... I guess the servers can't handle it. We're going to log in. We'll be dead. I have to go back and get my body, but I doubt anyone's down there. Well, that's good news. No one has my treasure. <laughs> the lab's farm was going quite well. I'd managed to carve out a small window to farm it in relative peace. With what I'd acquired from labs and a few small farm runs, I did some base fortifications, including some auto turrets, a SAM site, and some extra walls. It was getting towards the end of wipe day for me, but I just had this looming feeling of impending doom. To remind you all, I was surrounded literally in every direction by smaller groups, and in some cases, 15 deep clans, and I'd been scouted pretty much all day by a heli. I knew a raid was imminent. It was either coming tonight when I was asleep, or 100% tomorrow. They'd already raided all of my closest neighbors. It was pretty much just me left out here on my own in the deep snow. These guys had like a little heli base and it's decayed and there's a free helicopter. <laughs> it's been a very, very, very long rust day. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know. No words. Like, I never normally have them on aggressive, but being on the iceberg and there's helis all day, I forgot I even put it on. Uh, I'm gonna just put all my stuff on, smelt, and go to bed. <laughs> I've, um, yeah, woken up not that long ago. I'm <laughs> a bit like got a rust hangover. And I am blown away, if I'm being honest. We did not get offline last night, which might be the first ever time I've not been offline on the first night on this server. Um, yeah, after my little mistake last night, I went and just did a few base upgrades and put a pixel gap down, a few little things off camera. But I'm ready for today. I want to do some raiding. I want to progress through raiding. But also, I am probably going to be raided at some point today, being one of the last bases left out here. My farm from last night is likely done, hopefully. So we're going to just dump that in the base and quickly fortify this and then get on with our day. I'm actually kind of happy with this. We don't need like a mega structure, just kind of like enough to see. 
I'm pretty sure I said it yesterday, but I actually think I can parachute from here onto cargo. We are 100% at some point trying that. I'm just going to um, chuck a couple more turrets up and some garage doors, and then I'm going to go across the water and just have a bit of a look around, see what happened during the night. Who's left, at least? My insulators. But also, try and find where these guys live. This is interesting. These were like the last group between me and the clans, really. They're like a trio. Not even they were safe. They've like a big hole in their base. It's, um... <laughs> just get ready for a raid, I guess is what I'm saying. I just know. I just know from experience. I am so sick of these little freaking helicopters flying around my base. I'm going to get a homing launcher, and my goal is to shoot 10 down today. <laughs> we, need to put, we need to enact a no-fly zone. At least I got my farm back. They're like little freaking blowflies, and to give my little Sam site the best chance of shooting them down, I'm putting it up higher. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to hit the shot. I swear with me, like, you either get really good plays or just trash. And this wipe has just been trash. <laughs> I will redeem myself. Mark my words. I think that's the FTA clan scrappy. This area is like a major international airport. <laughs> like, we need to do something about it. The base was now strong enough to withstand some sort of mid-level raid. I really needed to send a message to the groups on this server that the iceberg was a no-fly zone. Regardless of whose hit list it landed me on, I was going to shoot down as many helicopters as I possibly could. One of ten. Ah, look who it is. My old friend, Mr. 200 Rockets. Interesting. <laughs> I guess I'm on their list. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Two out of ten. I couldn't find that body. He must have like bailed last minute or something, I don't know. But it's not about the bodies, it's about the helicopters. And uh, I think they're starting to get the message. They're evolving. the thought that counts. Just thinking about what exactly to do next. I know that was BTS Sugar that I shot down, so it's very, very, very likely that they'll be here some point today, raiding me. But I can't go too far away. 
but also need to fortify the base. You have to think about my little evil plan some more on my rocking chair. <laughs> that base has been raided like three or four times now, I think. It gets raided, someone takes over, then it gets raided. It gets taken over, gets raided, rinse and repeat. There's nothing in there. I watched the guys take it over all but like 30 minutes ago. There's no point countering it, but I get front row seats. Friends! This is what I would call the calm before the storm. I had three separate grouped helis flying around my iceberg, two of which I shot down. I was kind of waiting to just see who would strike first. If I was going to stand a chance against one of these groups, I needed to be near my base to react quickly. So I continued to just play around my base, reacting to the events that unfolded around me and getting a bit more farm to fortify this thing as best as I could. That was close, I almost lost my little precious jackhammer. If I go through enough of these, they'll eventually learn. <laughs> a few more turrets would definitely help, but it is peak hour at the moment, and I'll be very surprised if we can get labs. <laughs> what? That. I sat watching the angle for like 30 seconds and I turn away and he peeks me. The timing. This dude just has the perfect timing. <laughs> this place is on lockdown. I'm 100% gonna raid this base at some point. Like, it could be loaded. I think it's a labs base. I was starting to second guess myself. The second day of wipe was coming to an end and I had not been raided. I spent most of this day doing a lot of boring off camera farm stuff and a lot of it didn't make it into the video because no one wants to see Jackhammer Simulator for 50 minutes. I'd done some very uneventful military tunnel runs as well and was actually super loaded. No one has ever found one of my stash bunkers and I was happy with the loot sitting in it tonight. 
I was gearing up for a massive day three of just raids. I was pretty much going to raid anyone around me while also looking for my enemies and figuring out how to grief them. Australian servers reset at 5.30 a.m. I was starting night shifts in three days, so I didn't really mind waking up at all hours of the morning. I slept with one ear open tonight considering how much loot I had. I'd mentioned earlier, my little nemesis, they don't play by the rules. I've just woken up. I think I've been asleep for like 20 minutes. I don't know how much of this I've slept through. I logged my character in and then just went to sleep. Um, it's like straight off the server reset. They're trying to offline me. Like, I don't even know who, how many, but I'm sure I put up some sort of fight half asleep. <laughs> I've just realized by logging in as late as I did, I've lost my two upstairs bedrooms, which had two of my kits in it. This is going to be interesting. I only have, I think, like two Tommies left, I reckon, but it's fine. As long as they don't hit the pixel gap, it's whatever, but I'm still going to try and actually, like, win this thing somehow. <laughs> Miracle. There is no way I can get to that body with them on the roof.
did you just fall off? I know there's loot somewhere. They're like raiding literally everything. I have like a double barrel and some grenades left. Oh no. This is really, really, really bad. <laughs> I swear with me, like, you either get really good plays or just trash. And this wipe has just been trash. <laughs> I will redeem myself. Mark my words. Oh my god, he has every- It's- It's the guy from the last video who Foundation wiped me. You have to forgive me a bit. I've played two 16-hour rust days and slept 20 minutes. It's just dawned on me that it's them. Like, I need to quickly just get a turret online or something. They can't get back in or shut that door, but... Oh my god, if I pull this off, this is like an actual miracle. <laughs> Get the rest of that loot in a second, but they could have a ladder around here somewhere I'm not aware of. So I'm just getting my bag timer and then we'll go down and secure the treasure. I actually don't think they've gotten away with anything at all. Just this was an armored head glitch bunker, and that was an armored wall, and that was a sheet. Like, they've used so many rockets, like, they must have used like upwards of 50 rockets on this thing. Somehow, I'd managed to pull that raid off and defend it with a double barrel shotgun. I went around picking up all my loot, repaired my base, put some turrets down, did some upgrades and then went to sleep. I was exhausted at this point. This was not the last time though that someone paid a visit to my iceberg. 
You know that saying, be gracious in defeat and victory? Well screw that saying, I had a few things to say. They tried to offline me at 6 o'clock in the morning, waiting for the server to restart so the odds are I wasn't online, and then also that they wouldn't be counted. I'd been wanting to get revenge on these guys for a while, I didn't even have to go to them, they bought it to me. As far as I was concerned, we were even. I expected them to log out after this, but to my surprise, I logged on the next day and the first person I seen was Sugar Jackhammer Farming. Knowing what they were like, I really did not expect this to be the end of my dealings with them. Knowing they were still playing though, I wanted to show them how good I was at art. I've been doing like a lot of base upgrades, just the mundane stuff, put some turrets up, some honeycomb, and this is going to be a nice little farm, but there is something I've been working on that when the sun goes down, I want to show you all. Behold. <laughs> is there something wrong with me if I laugh at my own jokes? Like, I don't like fake personas, so I try to show you the viewer, like the me, the real me. I am by no means a saint, and I get up to no good when I feel like it's warranted. But um, for the most part, I'm pretty reasonable. <laughs> uh, like... They generate good content for me, and I've been playing Ross so long I take nothing personally. Like, I've been on the receiving end of all sorts of shenanigans, but, you know, please raid me before 2am. Well, now that the fun's over, it's um, time to actually do some raids. The original plan for today was to just do a lot of raids, and I prepared for it, and I got all my loot back so we can do it. I'm pretty much just going to work my way up from, like, Molly to C4, and... See what happens. I'm assuming it's going to put a target on me, but why not have some fun? I've noticed there's like heaps of wooden door farm bases up in that defilade. I'm just going to go molly all their doors in and, um, well, wait, what do we have here? What is happening? He's just satcheled himself. <laughs> That's my base. Like, what even is that? It's like the randomest thing. I don't even know who these guys are. Frick, I don't have metal for a door. That's one of my more, like, just random encounters I think I've had in Rust. While all of these shenanigans were going on around me, I'd been cooking sulfur. I had two C4 to my name and enough sulfur to make a bunch of other boom. It was time to do some raiding. However, my concern was that some of these groups around me were still active. I had to be smart about what I was going to do, as I didn't want to get counted. 
We're going to start simple. A nice easy warm up. 2C4 on the wall of that lab base you've seen earlier. And see what's inside. I've been curious for like a while now. Not bad, I actually need the pipes and the tech trash. Might not be worth it, but it's better than nothing. Oh, that's actually, that's like three auto turrets. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy about this. That's actually not bad. I'm going to go get the rest of those diving kits and then I'm going to go run through the snow with my Molotovs. <laughs> I'm not like really expecting a whole lot from these volley raids, but I've run past so many doors I just have to do it on principle. Like, we could hit the jackpot, who knows. Expected next. I ran past this base earlier today. It was like a sheet metal two by one thing and like it had a code lock on the side and a key lock on the front. Like it was just a weird base and to me it seemed like something like a stash base. It's like 50-50 on if there's anything in there, but it's only four satchels so I might as well go blow it open and have a look. Either it just got side raided and someone's using it as a respawn point or it is a stash base. What the f- <laughs> This base is loaded, like, this is something I would do, like hide loot in a stash base or something, but I did not think it would be this juiced. This must seem scripted or something, but I can assure you it's not. This is just a roll of the dice that's gone well for a change. That is just insane. I can't get over how much stuff's in that box.
After cleaning up on one of the most profitable raids I've ever done, my trio neighbours down the road were also raiding. My next raid was going to be a big one, rockets and all, but for now, I went over to slow down their progress. However, I knew using all of this boom was going to attract a lot of attention, especially if the guys who owned that stash base were still active. Look at that glorious iceberg. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I need the gears. They live in that little base there, like over the rock. There's like three or four of them, I think. It could actually be a potential raid tug. I don't think they have that many turrets. Like, I'd have to farm a lot, but it could be an option. I'm going to go have a little look at it. I have no idea how this guy died. Heli, maybe? Yeah, that's, I think that's three names I've seen. They're like, doing that thing where they'll just raid everything they can see from the roof and use it as cover. Um, typical. I actually really want to raid them. People stop trying to raid my starter. <laughs> I don't think they realize this is an armored door. Like, they could actually be like new players. <laughs> They're trying to run. Cheeky little rats. Yeah, you're gonna need like 40 more satchels. <laughs> My new neighbours were up to no good. I'd counter one of their raids, they then tried to raid my starter, and not long after I catch them doing another raid. I went over to counter to confirm a theory I had. I was looking for a raid target and I wasn't too sure if it was going to be these guys yet. The other issue? There were still some big clans out in the snow on farm runs, and there were not many targets left in this area for them to raid. They're at it again. They seem to just raid with satchels, but... Yeah, I think they might be new players, and this will tell me if they are, but yeah, if they are, I might leave them alone. We'll see. That's all the statues have learned their lesson. Oh my god, I need that charcoal. Oh, 
I've hit someone. I'm so confused. They've raided like one door and then they've come down another door. <laughs> like, I think they got lost in the base. There isn't really like anything in here. I think they've raided it through the back, taken it all, and they've come back for I don't even know what. I'm honestly confused. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like a little bit bad for those guys. Normally I'm like full zero remorse, but like they're clearly new, so <laughs> if they just stay over there and don't come near me, we won't have a problem. I'm gonna look for a bit more of a reasonable raid target, and I ran past this farm base this morning. It's been active all day, and uh, I'm liking the look of it. I think this is doable. The, my concern is that I'm in the deep snow, and there's probably going to be a lot of counters, uh, which will make things difficult. So I need, I need to get in and out quick. This is looking like one of those like humbug farm bases. This rear is honeycombed, but it could be an armored wall. But even if it is, I still think I have enough rockets. I think we do a little raid base on this hill and then we just pummel and try get in and seal before we get overrun. I had my raid target picked out. I'd slowly been acquiring rockets throughout the wipe leading up to a sizable raid for a solo. I would have found more rockets and sent it at the bigger base, but like I said, I'm pretty sure those guys were new and I was just going to leave them be for now. This was my last day on the server though, and I didn't want to log out and be offline with a bunch of rockets. There was no better time to just full send it than right now. This base could actually be loaded. It's clearly a farm base, and I don't know whose it is. Um, but we're just going to send it at the side, crack it open. Hopefully there's not like too many armored doors, or I'd be in Struggle Street. And we've got to get in and seal quickly before all these counters rock up.
Oh, it's definitely a farm base, and this is about all the boom I have left, so hopefully there's something behind this door. You know, honestly, not bad. It could have been way worse. I've pretty much organized all the best loot into these two boxes. And, um, you know, going in hard and fast and then just sealing was the play. I had three people counter me in like five minutes max. I'm just going to wait for everything to die down. Let the area cool down for a bit. And then I'll uh, run the loot. I have so much loot now on this iceberg. I am absolutely juiced. My raids for the day were done. I was genuinely loaded. I moved a bunch of loot around to minimize any impact of an offline and went to sleep. The last six times I've been raided over the last two videos have all been between 4 and 7 a.m. Well, to keep the tradition going, I woke up to some unfriendly visitors at 6 o'clock in the morning. Why can't these guys just raid at normal hours for once? <laughs> I think I've slept through most of this. I moved and separated a lot of my loot last night, so it should be okay. There's some in the starter. I've stashed some. There's not much in this base. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Don't mind my sleep deprivation. Unfortunately, I have slept through most of this. They've gone through a wall and into the main base. I don't think they've touched anything else. There is one last chance, and that's the HV rocket the Scrappy as it takes off. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't even, yeah, tired. They're just so ready for it. Like, I sat in there for like two minutes, not making a noise. Whatever. I'll go see the damage. <laughs> there you go. I finally hit a scrap heli with a HP rocket. It's just halfway across the map. Well, they didn't hit this little spot in the pixel gap. Well, they've gone up the ramp, through a wall, and into the core. There wasn't a whole lot left in this core at all. It's a bits and pieces, and they probably got like maybe three lines of metal in the furnaces, so... All things considered, I don't think it would be worth it for them. Someone had tried to offline me, and I woke up at the end of it. There's not much you can do in those situations, and I just went straight back to sleep. I woke up, did a bit of a lap, and decided to call the wipe there. I met this pretty chill solo liver next to me, I gave him a little tour, then I gave him the base and all of my loot. Now, a little announcement. I've been playing the Australian servers for many, many, many years now. It's time for a change. I seen this tweet by Tesla and it had me intrigued. For the next few videos at minimum, I'm going to be playing on the Southeast Asian servers which are home to creators like Alone in Tokyo, Tesla and Tacular. I have had a lot of requests to play in this region, and it's about time. 
I logged into SCA Medium just to test the ping, and within about an hour, I was raided by a Zerg. If that's anything to go by, the next few videos should be bangers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a month. Like, comment, subscribe, do that sort of good stuff. See you later.